and welcome to the final part of this tutorial on making a song with Yas without a MIDI or a car file. Now we come to perhaps the most uh, fun part of the creation which is finding the melody for the notes. Now even without sheet music, even without a MIDI, even without a car, we can still get the um, notes for the syllables and actually all we need is this option right here and a very good musical ear. So what I've clicked um, to get started is this one over here. So before, see now I have it turned off, when we would listen to the notes it was only the mp3 that was playing. Now we can also hear the piano note. In fact, if we click on the audio, we'll get only the piano. But if we're going to figure out what the note is, we want to work with and the mp3 and the piano. So what happens from here is that we're going to be using the options to go up and down with the notes, to play with the notes, listen to the notes on the different uh, on the different piano notes here, and see which is the one that matches the voice of the singer. Now notice that um, there's a really big bar here at 12 and there's also a thicker bar at 0. What this is uh, telling you is that every like t every 12 notes the keyboard restarts. Not that it restarts in that the notes were, are the same. As you can tell this one is a lot higher than this one but they are equivalent in the eyes of the game. Anything that's 12 apart will be the same. So even if a singer may be singing, for example, here on this note, and say you've put your notes here on uh, number 12, if someone who is singing your game is singing on zero, the game will still give that person full points because they are following the exact melody. So they're basically they're singing a C in both cases, except where the, whereas the original singer may be singing it at a like a much higher key, the person is singing is singing the same melody but on a lower key. So it makes no difference if um, you start uh, arranging your notes in this area or if you're more comfortable perhaps in these uh, higher notes you can shift all of your notes upwards and start working within um, that area and Yas is being a little piggy right now but you can very easily like bring all of your notes up and then eventually Yas will figure out that it needs to um, zoom out there we go I hit undo and it allowed me to zoom out so now if you're more comfortable with these notes, you can, like, that's not what I wanted to take, you can bring everything over up here and then start working your notes up here, down here, up here, instead of on this key. Likewise, if you're more familiar with um, lower tones, you can also bring things down. And then let's see if I press undo again. I don't know why pressing undo is what makes it understand that I want it to go down. So if you're more comfortable in uh, notes that are like these, then that's that's all up to you. I happen to be more comfortable from the 0 to 12, which is the basic uh, standard that Yas is giving us, so that works great with me. And let me just bring back all of my notes to the starting point because I've just inputted a random melody here and we can play it for just for fun and see what it gives. If you want to play the entire page you have to either press this one here or press P on your keyboard. Now I hope you could hear that that was all kinds of wrong. <laughs> that is definitely not how the song goes. So what I'm going to do right now is play around with uh, the notes a little and try to figure out if I can find the right notes for the song. 
So I will be, you'll see me go up and down and play the note and then bring it maybe a little down, play the note again, see if it matches better. And once I think I've got it, then I start moving on to other notes. Let's see what it gives. See now it sounds it sounds um, too low. This one sounds a little too high, so it's got to be somewhere in between. That sounds about right. And then we can start playing with the rest of them. Again, if at any times you want to like hear maybe only the piano because you think maybe there's a background music that's distracting in the mp3, click on um, this little audio mute and then once you hit play again, you'll get only your piano. That sounds pretty similar to what she sang. I'm going to consider that to be the notes that the singer is singing. So as I've mentioned before, I've started it on a D, so the game would consider this exactly the same as this. Uh, perhaps a little more difficult for me to sing, but the game still considers it good. And even if you're playing in uh, advanced difficulty, you know how you have beginner, intermediate, and advanced. What changes in advance is how much uh, leeway they give you. You may have noticed that on easy, your notes are really thick. That's because while the note may be a D, if you sing an E, or if you sing a C, they'll actually still give you points. If you're singing in intermediate, you can sing this one, and you can sing this one, as well as the right note, to get the points. However, if you're singing in advance, you have to be singing a D to get the points. Now you can be singing a D here, or you can be singing the D here. It doesn't make a difference. You're still going to get the points. So that said, let's save. Again, this is a very temperamental software, so you want to save. <laughs> 